Today's focus was on management of diversity, and we really took an in-depth look at theoretical concepts and practical application. You'll note that a lot of literature and a lot of business representatives constantly asked us to tie theory to practical application. And one of the key areas that we took a look at along the lines of diversity is not only not only focusing on cultural diversity, we focused on ethical reasoning as it related to diversity initiatives. And yes, and any kind of project of this nature where you're asking people to become a part of the lives of others, ethics become a part of this. Why? Because not everything is is a part of a law that you have to do, but it becomes a part of your consciousness and your care for other people that motivate that I want to help in some kind of way. And with our research, we focused on nonprofit. Now, of course, you could have gone corporate and any other areas or means of business, but it was easy enough to do a nonprofit because that is a commitment. And you know that the pay may not, be, may not be any pay, and normally there is not, especially if you're volunteering. But how do you approach this? What do you do? And examples of when Katrina hit, people wanted to help other people. So having students go out, find their niche and how they could help someone else, not looking for something else in return, but what can I do for someone else that will make a difference in their lives as well as mine. It turned out to be a greater benefit than even at the initiation of it because students came back talking about, I didn't know this, I didn't know about someone else and their culture which caused them to react or not to do something. And what we ended up with discussion on one of the primary areas was that in doing this, when you move out into business and you are perhaps even the manager, your perspective, your understanding of other cultures, other people is at a greater level then and you make decisions based on all of that knowledge as opposed to your own personal experiences. So, Because if that's the extent of it, that's all you know. And that may not be the right decision for everybody or all the people involved. So it turned out to even be a greater project because so many different elements and aspects of learning came into being. And we were just I mean, just excited with the results because it gave us quality results. Before, doing, and after, we were able to measure so we can say, all right, in theoretical preparation in this academic environment, we understand these applications, but we really want to measure and get a sense of if you are really enhancing your overall business skill set that would really give you that doability to be able to go into industry, especially given these challenging times, and really utilize a diverse set of skills versus just focusing in one particular area. And I think any initiative along the lines of diversity speaks volumes when you can focus on human capital. You know, mm -hmm. the human talent itself, because we're all made up of a diverse array of skill sets that more often than not, we really don't have an opportunity to utilize on a day-to-day -day basis. And one thing you have to remember, our most important resource is the human resource. And no matter what else you may have, how technologically advanced we become, our most important resource 